Hi, I'm Doug and I'd like to take you on a little solar tour. This is my solar oven. Just been making chocolate chip cookies in it. It's up over 300 degrees. And this is an earth sheltered passive solar home my wife Claudia and I built starting in 1983. That's a 40 square foot solar hot water collector on the roof with a 10 watt photovoltaic panel mounted on the top of it that uh, drives a circulator pump. This is an attached greenhouse that helps to heat the house in the cooler weather and it also gives Claudia a place to start plants. Let's go in here now. It has dark barrels, black barrels filled with water for thermal mass. It also has brick paving and gravel for more thermal mass to help hold the heat to get it through the cold nights. We don't add any heat in here. It also has an exhaust fan to blow warm air into the house when we want it to. And here's one of my original batch solar heaters. It's just a tank in the sun. Here's a uh, door to the house. We have dark brown stained concrete floors. In the winter time the sunlight will come into the building and warm the floors up. And the big stone fireplace gets warmed by the sun as well. This is our only backup heat, this wood burning fireplace. It also makes hot water. We burn very little wood. All the wood uh, paneling came off the property here. The stone walls, all locally collected stone, are insulated on the outside to help hold the heat inside for a lot of thermal mass. We have nine large windows all facing south. The overhang shades them so you get no sun in the summertime, just in the winter. In the winter time the sun will come all the way to the back of the building. We're looking at the north wall now which is seven feet underground. It's 16 inches thick and buried completely to where you can walk around behind the house and step up on the roof. It's open design between the kitchen, dining, and living areas to aid the circulation of heat and light. This is about a 12 ton stone fireplace which not only helps heat the place but all this mass helps keep it cooler in the summertime as well. Well insulated water heater is back up behind solar and wood. Buttress wall, 16 inch thick buttress wall to help hold the north wall back as we're seven feet underground here. Going down the poplar lined hallway into the sassafras lined bathroom one quart flush toilet we're on spring water, gravity fed spring water there's no electricity involved, no, no water pumps and here we are in the master bedroom that's the east facing wall, there's our only east facing window and you get an idea of the thickness of the walls by looking at this sill these walls are 12 inches thick with 2 inches of styrofoam on the outside covered with stucco and you can see ground level right outside the bottom of this window and it slopes up towards the back. These are cedar cordwood walls I'm trying to give you a better view of that. Not actually my favorite method of building but it's attractive and low cost if you don't count labor and they are labor intensive. This house performs very well. I'd say 90% of it is solar heated. We built it for less than $10 a square foot starting in 1983. It heats itself well and cools itself well. We have here thermal shades, insulated shades to help hold the heat in in the winter time. It's a 
double bubble pack radiant barrier reflectix. There's the device for it. It's just simply a string wound around a dowel and you can pull that shut and it uh, definitely tightens up the windows for winter nights. Let's go outside again through the greenhouse. Here's a mechanic and wood shop. There's a gravity solar water heating system and a solar air heating system for the studio. And here you can see how the house is buried into the hillside, south facing hillside. We had a 25 by 65 foot recess cut into it and buried the house in it. You can walk around the back of the house and step right up on the roof. Solar clothes dryer. Try to use locally available free materials whenever possible. Guest room.